happened as this plane bounced on landing and then burst into flames. It is believed that winds may have had something to do with that, not exactly sure how many people were on board, how many people were injured, and possibly may have perished from this accident. A cargo plane, CNN, oh, we're getting some of the news reports here. Uh, do you feel comfortable talking about what happened uh, in Tokyo with us? Well, I, I can, I can again, one is, <laughs> one is challenged. Uh, and you've got to see this video. I don't know if you've seen it, the plane bouncing. And these are big bounces. And then the plane uh, sort of veers to the left and then bursts into flames. Well, hmm. well um, the only thing I, I guess I could say is I, I, that's, it, the, the aircraft is an MD-11, and the, uh, FedEx has a lot of these aircraft that they, that they fly cargo to, to around in Asia and, and to, it, to and from Asia. Um, that aircraft, I've flown the simulator a couple of times, and uh, it can be fairly challenging to land that airplane. Now, again, if there's a lot of wind, if there are some other kinds of problems that they have, then um, that uh, a landing could be could be more difficult. Again, that's a kind of speculation, but but I do know that uh, it can be a little more challenging to land than some of the other aircraft. Well, with all the information that you just gave us, we really appreciate it, uh, and being the former vice chairman. Uh, of the NTSB, you are now, but you're a former vice president of the NTSB. Um, we want to thank you for the perspective that you've added to us. It really helps us out in this situation.